I'll be killed within the next few days because of the Thanksgiving holiday that's coming up. So you can see that the toes have all been cut off, the turkeys. Um, they do this at birth so that when they get bigger they don't injure themselves. Uh, when they mate, the males will get on top of, or try to get on top of the females. They can't even naturally mate anymore because they're so large, but their claws will just like dig into each other and cause them to bleed and cause, which can lead to infection, especially in this dirty environment. You can see there's poo all over the floor. So, I just picked this little girl up and we're going to be taking her home and we're going to be cleaning her up and then taking her to the vet. Um, it looks like she has like some sort of limp. She's been walking around. Kind of funny. There might be something. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're going to take you home. You're going to be safe. You're going to be okay. It's okay, baby. You're going to be alright. Yeah, she's really scared. They're so probably scared never, of humans. Yeah, she's probably never been like handled kindly by humans or maybe even not at all. Um, but we're gonna go, we're gonna take her out of here and she's gonna live the rest of her life with um, in peace and free from human violence. This is a, a free-range free farm, so some people like to say that it's much more humane for the animals if you buy from free-range, but it doesn't really make a difference because at the end of the day, they're still gonna die. Even if they do have more space compared to birds who'd be in cages, um, it's still just inherently cruel the way you know they're kept confined in these dirty conditions, how they're mutilating their bodies and how even though these birds are only a few months old, they're going to be killed. They've been bred to be so large. Um, a lot of them, if they do get to grow older, may have heart issues. Um, they won't be able to perch properly, which could lead to issues for their feet, just because um, they've bred to be so big and unnatural. They're not even supposed to be white. These turkeys would naturally be like brown and black and all different types of colors, but they found them. Um, when uh, they are those colors, it affects the color of their flesh. They only want to sell a product that is a consistent, you know, that pinkish white color. I wish that we could take the rest of them. Like, I want to take them all. I want this to end. And everybody that's watching has, like, the power to change this. This, this doesn't have to, have to happen. This doesn't have to be the norm. Like, we could change that. Like, we could all, you know, just stop eating animals and ask our friends and our family to, to do the same. And I was thinking as we were putting on these suits, you know, we're, we're wearing these suits right now because um, uh, it helps, one, protect us from all the germs that could be inside of here. You know, we could be, you know, you've heard in the news there's like E. coli outbreaks, there's, um, they could be carrying all kinds of diseases from these awful conditions, but the other reason we wear these suits is because we could be carrying germs that could be passed on to them, afflict their whole, um, you know, her uh, flock and get them all sick. And I was thinking also, you know, one reason we don't celebrate Thanksgiving is when the Europeans came over, they were passing on germs to the indigenous people, they came and passed on smallpox, syphilis, mm -hmm. malaria. This is like a really, really violent holiday, even if you know, turkeys weren't being killed, like it's still a celebration of violence. Um, but I think not eating turkeys, that's like a step in the right direction. And that's like the least that we could do. And then also, you know, acknowledge all of the Native Americans that were lost because of this holiday too. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah.